Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to make an Eisenhower matrix in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. An Eisenhower matrix is a tool that can be used to help prioritize tasks. The matrix has four quadrants, with each quadrant representing a different level of importance. The most important tasks are in the upper left quadrant, while the least are in the lower right quadrant. If you're part of a project team, creating an Eisenhower matrix can help you avoid spending too much time on unimportant tasks. Sharing a doodly video highlighting your matrix can also help other team members understand your priorities. So that's what we're going to do today. Of course, there are a couple different ways that you can go about doing it. You could start with a chart that already exists and um, customize it to meet your needs. For example, this graphic here, if I wanted, I downloaded it from, I think it was FreePick. If I wanted, I could go into a video editing software and delete all this stuff and then put in my own stuff. But today, what we're going to do is we're just going to take inspiration from it and we're gonna create our own matrix. So here you see I've typed in rectangle in my props tab and I am going to use this rectangle right here as one of my quadrants. And I'm gonna size it appropriately. I think this is a good size. And then I'm gonna go ahead and Control C or Command C depending on your operating system to copy. And then Control or Command V paste. And that's looking pretty good. Let's find an arrow. I'm just copying and pasting once again. Okay, I've now labeled my matrix so that we know that anything that falls in this rectangle here is going to be both important and urgent. Anything over here is going to be important but not urgent. Anything over here is not important but it is urgent. And then anything over here is not urgent and it's also not important. Now that we understand this, we can start adding our tasks. So let's go ahead and find a sticky note. Um, I have two that I have imported. We can use either. I imported these from a royalty-free site, so use those. So let's say I have a task, and let's say that it's both important and urgent. So we're going to call it um, training manual. Let's just say. Go ahead and copy this and paste it a few times. Okay, so now I have a few post it notes and we are ready to start creating tasks. So right now I'm just going to create a bunch of tasks and I'm not going to worry about where they are located, okay? So we have a training manual. What else might we have? What are some other tasks? We have a buy equipment. So now I have created my different tasks and now I want to move them into the appropriate places, okay? So we're going to start with the first one, training manual. Okay, is that important? Is it urgent? Is it not important? Is it not urgent? I am going to say that it is important, but it's not urgent. So I'm going to move it over to this section here. Okay, it's not, maybe we haven't, we don't have any new hires right now, so it's not urgent. 
Okay, buy equipment. So what are we buying? Okay, let's say we're buying um, new computer equipment. Now, how urgent is that? Are we at a point where we cannot function and we need to get some computers ASAP? Do we have new hires that need that? What have you? So I am going to say that that is not urgent at this point in my business. Um, it may be different, of course. It just depends on the circumstances. Okay, so I went ahead and I organized my different tasks into these different quadrants. And now we have our video that we want to present to our team. Maybe we're doing a Zoom meeting and we want to just real quickly go over, hey, these are the things we need to focus on. So what we want to do in Doodly is make sure that we have them in the proper order, okay? So we work over here in this order tab and we decide how we want Doodly to draw it on. And we decide how long Doodly is going to take to draw each element on. By default, each of these rectangles takes three seconds to draw on. So we've got four of them and that's 12 seconds plus the arrows. So that's 18 full seconds for the hand to draw on this stuff. And that's honestly, that's way too long. We want to get to it right away. So we could go and just have them all already be on screen so that we don't waste any time. And then, you know, maybe these arrows, maybe we will draw the arrows on, just for emphasis, but we're not going to spend three seconds. We'll do one second each, okay? And then we do want to kind of ground everybody, let them understand what this means. So we want to draw on our labels. And I think we should have important draw on first, and then not important. And we want those to come on before this, this arrow comes on. So I moved that down. And then urgent and then not urgent. And you know what, let's move the arrow in between and we'll do that on this, this one too. Say important and then the arrow's gonna draw on and then not important, okay? Each of these sticky notes by default is three seconds and I don't think I want that. So I'm gonna change that to one second. Each. Okay, so I'm going to go through and go one second on every single one of these. And then we want to get them in the right order, okay? So we're going to probably want it to go right to left like this. So this one, okay, so they're down here. So I'm going to move this one up. So this is my first post it note. And then File taxes, I have to find that and I need to move that up so it comes in so that it's going to be my first one, okay? And then my second one needs to be oil change in truck. So I'm going to highlight this oil change in truck and I'm going to look down for it, okay? So it's this green one. And I'm going to move that so that it comes in right after file taxes. And then I take the text and I move that so it comes in right after that post-it. And then hire new CEO. So this is my post-it and it needs to come in after oil change in truck. So I'm just going to keep doing this, okay? All right, so we're just about done. Let's take a quick look. So my hand is kind of giving everybody the lay of the land here, what this means. And then I'm just gonna tell them, okay, these are my important urgent things. These are my important not so urgent things. These are my not important but urgent things. And these are my not important nor urgent things. And that's how you can create an Eisenhower matrix in Doodly. Thanks for watching.